Well, hey there, welcome back to the Toy Box. We've been doing uh, quite a bit of camping last year, getting ready to start for this year. We live in an area that we can't get regular internet at the house, so we're on a 4G LTE system. So when we go out on camping trips, we take this with us. I've also picked up a new antenna to go on top of the camper uh, so we can get better reception when we're in fringe areas. Uh, the other thing I uh, want to set up for this is to have it work on 12 volts instead of the wall power, 120 volt wall power. Uh, so that when we're either on the road or in an area with uh, no electric hookup, that we could still have internet access. So let me show you what I'm working on. So here's all the pieces parts. I'm going to talk a little bit about what each one is here. Uh, this is the LTE modem uh, and gateway. This is actually a really nice uh, firewall uh, modem device, but I usually use this in pass-through mode here at the house. And I've gotten tired of having to make the change to putting it into Wi-Fi router mode every time we go out. So I've bought a little travel router and we're going to use this in the camper uh, and it will be all set up and ready to go. So all I have to do is plug this stuff in when we go. Uh, one thing you'll notice here, this has uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Like I say, I'm not using the Wi-Fi features of this. I'm only using it as a modem. Uh, it has two antennas for the 4G LTE setup. They call this MIMO, uh, multiple in, multiple out. It is able to use those two antennas to get better reception. Uh, it, it's smart enough to phase them and, and uh, use two slightly differently positioned antennas uh, to work out reflections and, and uh, those types of things for the digital signals uh, to improve signal quality. So this antenna that I bought uh, to go up on top of the camper has two antennas built into it. So I've got two antenna connections that are going to run down into the camper into an area where I can plug this in. So that this can all run off of 12 volt. Sure, it would be easy to just uh, hook it up and, you know, plug in cigarette light or adapter type thing and, and run it off of 12 volts. Uh, this doesn't do any sort of power filtering, power conditioning, anything like that. Um, and if we're going to be running on, down the road, the charging voltage on uh, the electrical systems in the truck or the camper is actually greater than 12 volts. And so I only want to actually send 12 volts to this. So I have purchased a little power supply module that takes the input 12 volts from the electrical system in the, the camper. Uh, and when we're on the road, that would be tied into the electrical system in my truck. Uh, and I'm going to use that instead of this. So we're going to take the end off of that and connect it to this so that it can be easily connected up to the router. And then this is a USB uh, power supply converter as well. And I'm also going to get this hooked up to be permanently hooked up into the camper. And that will power the router that just runs off of a USB connection. Now I haven't actually tested all of this stuff together, so I'm gonna get it all hooked up, put some connectors on things, get it uh, set up, and we're gonna try and make sure everything works before I start going and pulling cables and drilling holes in the roof of the camper. I shot a couple of screws in here to hold the antenna up so I can get that mounted. And I couldn't work, <laughs> use both hands and run the camera. So I have put connectors on all of these and made a little wiring harness uh, to plug all of this in. So we're going to hook this up real quick and uh, give it a test. One of the things I did here, since I need 12 volt power, and what I have available for 12 volt power here in the garage is a couple of motorcycle batteries in the motorcycles. Both of them have the pigtails on them for the battery tenders, so I made just a quick little battery harness adapter here that I'm going to plug in and allow me to hook to this. So it will plug in to the pigtail into this, splitting off because we have two devices that have to plug in for power, one for the USB for the router, uh, the Wi-Fi router, one for the 12 volt DC for the uh, modem, output from the modem, power cord for the modem, power cord for USB. All right, I'm going to drag the sportster over here, and I'm going to plug this guy into my pigtail. So we're going to connect that to there. We've got those connected. This guy is going to go to the power cord for the router, and regular USB over to the router. 
I'm going to plug those in, get them fired up, and we'll see what happens. All right, I got everything powered up. I'll show you what I got. So I've got this hooked up with the stock antennas that I always use at the moment. I'm going to do a couple of quick tests here. Um, I'm going to do a signal strength check and a speed test uh, using my trusty laptop here and we'll see what it looks like. And then I will hook up the antennas and we'll see what that looks like. With the stock antennas, the modem has a signal strength of minus 101 dBm, which translates to three bars of service. The speed test result, 61 megs down and 15 megs up. Now for the second test, I've got this hooked up to the antenna, this rat's nest of antenna cable here, uh, hooked up to the new antenna that will be on the outside of the camper. I'm not expecting uh, a huge improvement in signal uh, right here because the stock antennas aren't really a whole lot different in size than the new one. Uh, the difference is going to be on the camper. This will be up on the roof and it will be outside of the camper uh, and the camper is uh, shielded with aluminum siding. So the signal with the stock antennas on the inside of the camper I expect to be uh, less than the signal with this guy on the outside. So uh, I'm going to run this test and see if I get anything different, but at the moment I'm not expecting anything drastically different uh, with this speed test with these sitting right here, but we'll see what we get. With the new antenna, the modem has a signal strength of minus 102 dBm, which translates again to three bars of service, almost identical to the first test. The speed test result is 44 megs down and 15 megs up. Not as fast, but it's within the typical range that I'm used to seeing day to day here at the house. I'm going to call that a successful test. I'm going to go take the modem back inside, hook it up so the kids can have internet again. I've had them disconnected for a little while and they're getting antsy. If you like what I'm doing here, click subscribe. I'd love to hear from you on uh, Twitter and Instagram. MG's Toy Box on both of those. Leave a comment on the video. Till next time, go play with your toys.